Hey guys, in this video I am filming with the new lens. I was using it before, I'd say three or four videos ago, and it was and it was kind of shaky for me. But um GoPro came out with a new software update and I downloaded it, so we're gonna see if this lens does better instead of shaking a little bit. The image optic image optic image stabilization was a little bit shaky. So let's see if they cleared that up. Stay tuned. Knock, knock. Hey, I've come to see about this air conditioner. Come in here. I don't know what it is. All right, tell me what it's been doing. This side blowing out heat. I tried to turn it off, but it wouldn't go off. It won't go off at all? Mm -mm. All right, looks like you got it on cool. But it's blowing in heat. I felt it too. Like that's all I keep doing, even when I try to match the power, but... Even when you turn it off? Mm -hmm. It ain't turning it off, is it? All right, what, what's it doing on the other side? The other side is not on... Um, going at all. Alright. It's not blowing at all. I thought maybe it needed batteries, but I see it will work if I battery. No, I don't use batteries. Just turned on. All right, let's check things outside real quick. All right, if it's not obvious, this is one of those mini split systems with two air handlers underneath it. And um, sometimes when they are low on refrigerant, they will only run in heat. This is blowing out cold air. is hot and that is hot so it's only running in heat it's probably very low on refrigerant All right, let's just check pressures real quick. Neither one of these is very warm. Mm. Let's check them real quick. Mm. 
It seems like they ought to be hot enough to produce heat. But she had them set to cool, didn't she? I know that one that I set. was on cool. Mm. 367. That seems like enough. I just, can I get a true suction somewhere? Even, even this one is hot. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the top off and see if we can't get any error codes. blowing cold air. This thing's full of water. I can see that. Pull that screw out. Y'all see all the water come out of it? Oh my word, that bolt's right in the way. to get my little ladder.
Huh. All right, let me see if there's a yeah, there's a code right in there. Let me see it. Mm. Let me get my ladder. I'll be right back. All right, it seems to be alternating between 19 and 20. 19, 20. Yep, that's what they are. There's supposed to be a cover over the top of this. A plastic cover that covers that up. Almost like I gotta do some googling to see if I can come up with those codes. Okay, according to this, 19 and 20 are both indoor unit evaporator outlet temperature. If the temperature is lower than negative nine, if the temperature is higher than 70. It thinks it's below negative nine. Let's try resetting this and see if we can't read pressures and start over. Okay. Okay, now let's um These two pressures should be about the same. We got them both set on cool. I heard the air handler starting to ramp up, so Let's wait and see what happens. All right, all that time I thought I was recording. This is my suction pressure. It seems to be running on a higher speed right now. I got cold coming back. With the temperatures we have outside right now, it's 60 degrees. <laughs> that's still above freezing which is pretty good I'll tell you what let's go in and check our filters real quick let's see if we can't wash that out All right, let's check pressures real quick. Um, still well above freezing. Mm. 
From what I saw, it was 70 degrees in there and she wanted it colder. I don't know if y'all can see that okay. There we go, 111.7.8 PSI. All right, let's go put this, what I call a hog hair filter back in. All right, that right there seems to be doing pretty good and cool. Let's look up top and see if we have any have any errors. Sixty one, sixty two. All right, let's go back to our Google and see if we can figure out what sixty one and sixty two are. I only go up to 50 and 51 so I don't know what those are here we go no nope, these are E F and P numbers and flow charts well guys on that one basically all i did was reset it make sure the filters were clean check pressures and it seems to be riding okay right now so we're going to keep an eye on it thanks for watching i hope the video was stable if you like videos like this how about like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one